Haley and Michaels are undeniable artists this week, and by Haley, you mean Shannon, and by Michaels, you mean Ryan. Um, these guys have been playing songs throughout the week, and like every once in a while, a song will stick out to me. Uh, giving it all to you is one, and I think I'm trying to remember the first line. Is it before I knew you, or before, before you, you even knew me, me? You knew you knew yes. me best. Yeah. So to me, that just leads us straight into the idea of the fact that you guys were always right there next to each other. Yeah. And you never found each other when you lived three miles apart in Northern California for basically your whole lives. Is this is, is, so? You'll have to tell me kind of like what that means that you lived so close and why you never found each other, and then when it actually did happen for y'all. So there are some crazy misconnections. Um, I actually used to buy my sheet music for the piano from his family-owned music store. Like from, from, his, from my grandma who ran the sheet music yeah, department. Never met him. We used to go to the same like favorite breakfast places and you know just like we've gone through every single place that it what part been. of northern california is this so the bay area yeah. so palo alto and los altos we were like right on the border before the internet and self-driving cars and the explosion there where everyone is now yeah. you know so techie but i went to the high school that was literally right in her backyard but i got kicked out because like i, I wanted to do music and sports and like nothing's actually changed and my maturity hasn't changed but that's the kind of thing you get kicked out for so like we could have met sooner if that hadn't happened yeah you know but that's so dude, weird yeah. do you feel like uh like the unit are you those the people that believe like we were being pulled together and at some point it was bound to happen absolutely like, yeah yeah, absolutely. He, I knew it sooner than she he did. He definitely is that guy. I'm kind of like, that's great that we met. And, yeah, you know, oh, what do you know? Good. <laughs> yeah, when we first met, I'm sitting there thinking like, oh, like we could, we could, uh, we could get married and we could start a band together. And I'm like literally thinking this in two minutes in, you know, and she's just like, we should start a band together. <laughs> right, half of it. Yeah. What? Where was it? So where did you guys meet, and how'd you meet for the first time? The Frothy Monkey. In Nashville. in Nashville, we met in Nashville. The frothy, and of course it was the the frothy the monkey, monkey because everyone's got like a frothy with a monkey. And <laughs> that's how, yeah. So we, I, I walked in, I saw her sitting there. I'm like, okay, so there's like, how does this work? Because I have this band, and then you know, but we, you know, we worked out pretty quick, and we we were riding together. Um, and I was like, hey, we should, when we're done with, the, you know, we should go out, you know. And she's like, yeah, no. And so that went on for like six months, and we were we were actually doing. Were you guys with... meeting on purpose at the Frothy Monkey for a writing session? Yes, um, okay. for just to meet because actually we were playing in our in our solo projects. We were playing with the same electric guitar player, and okay. so he was like, you guys need to meet, you know. And so like I think he was thinking on a musical level. No, right. I've asked him since, and Sam. He, he had an inkling, but uh, yeah, he didn't tell you that before you reached out. I was just, yeah, clearly. And I was worried, <laughs> I, it took me a while because I, I did feel like so much chemistry musically, and I really didn't want to ruin the music mm -hmm. with a relationship. It was, it's scary. Clearly. It is, because yeah. things, when they end, then all of it has to end. What is know? it you love the most about Ryan mm. musically? Oh, musically. <laughs> um, <laughs> <laughs> um, I love that he is um, like super passionate. He's always going for like the heart and the passion, like whether it's writing or performing on stage. Um, he always likes to write like big songs and anthemic songs, and I love that. I can over emote too, a lot. Yes. Yeah. You know your weakness. Part of the deal. Own them. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I would say when I listen, uh, there's certain songs where. You guys should know I'm a huge fan of Keith Urban, but like you remind yeah. your voice sometimes. Like I'm like, dang, just cool. Like it has this urban vibe to me. Thanks, bro. Dude, I'll take yeah. that all day. I mean, as a compliment, I don't like to compare people. Yeah, yeah. To no, people, dude, we're we're thank you. I mean, we're hard. huge Keith Urban fans, and and um, we've seen several shows, and um, you know, one of the one of the so thank you for saying that. And one of the things I think that we love about him is is that he plays around with the production. You see a show, it's like a big rock and roll concert. I mean, it's just, he can do all of it. What do you just love about her musically? T two things. I, one is that she's very much driven by songwriting. Um, if, if Shannon isn't writing, I mean, cause we, you know, we're in the business and we're doing all that stuff all the time, but we'll be in the middle of a conversation and she'll just start humming, uh, humming the, the, the title of the song. It's probably really annoying, you know, actually. So <laughs> it's, it's, but, but, it, but it, is, it is represented on the album. So many of the songs that are on the album just fell out of the sky through Shannon and just, you know, and um, so I'd say the song's driving her. Um, and another thing I think is that people are, are just now finding out, I mean, Shannon has an incredibly powerful voice mm -hmm. and she can also bring it down and be really dynamic and, all, and artistic. And, and um, I think it's really cool as we're finally getting a shot to get out there that people are starting to see that. And, you know. 
All right, I'm gonna. Wow, that was nice. I know I could keep going, but uh, <laughs> I want you to learn more about these guys throughout the rest of the week. It's Haley and Michaels.